After a summer of drought, now a health scare hits farmers in the Wabash Valley. Melons are a multi-million dollar business on the sandy fields of southern Indiana. A salmonella outbreak that's left more than 150 people ill in four states has been traced back to tainted cantaloupes from southwestern Indiana. News as Mike Grant reports the outbreak is a tough break for growers who work to put a healthy product on the market. A salmonella outbreak linked to southwestern Indiana cantaloupes is one more tough break for farmers in the Wabash Valley. Melon growers say safety and quality is one thing they pay close attention to. We work hard to produce a, uh, a safe product and it's something that uh, we take pride in and uh, you know we have food safety you know, certifications and uh, you know, traceability programs in place for, for instances like this. Because of the hot summer, the cantaloupe crop came on early this year, and many growers were already finished with their harvest. The salmonella outbreak has had an impact, though, on those farmers who were trying to squeeze just a few more melons out of their fields. And some guys uh, actually were trying to continue to go, but uh, with the news that came out, you know, and, and nobody knowing what farm on the retail side, uh, orders really stopped. For some growers, that meant throwing in the towel on a crop that people were afraid to buy, even though it most likely had nothing wrong with it. It's a little aggravating that um, you know it's taken this long to, to name the farm and, and put us all under a, uh, a little warning tag, but um, you know we feel confident that it's going to come back to, to one farm and one source. But that single source appears to have put the end to hopes that growers may have had to get a little more out of these melons this year. In Knox County, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. State health officials say the source of the outbreak is still under investigation. One farm in far southern Indiana has voluntarily stopped operations.